We in the danger room. They are not ready. We turning on beasts. You see it, you see the work. Sweep Atlanta, what's next? No geek, baby. No geek. We taking over. We taking over. Y'all not doing this work. Tell them, son. Tell them now that they not working like us. Because if you're not challenging your mind, you're not challenging yourself. This is what we do. Let's go. Get that work up. Come on, Isaac. Gotta breathe. <laughs> stuff because I like to do it because I think it's fun I don't do it because of that I'm 
do it because I want to beat you guys. Hey! Coming soon. Well, I got a call from Keenan uh, in the middle of the night, and he, he asked me, actually it was a text. He asked me what, what did I think about him going from uh, middle to middle heavy. And, you know, I thought it was a good idea. You know, he can, right now he can make, make middle, he can go middle heavy. Like, if you see Keenan's frame, he can, you know, he can go up to uh, Super Bizzotto, you know, if he wants to. Um, he, he's going to grow and get bigger. So, the well, first thing I did, called the strength conditioning coach. Uh, I talked to two of them to see what they, see what they thought. Uh, I talked to the doctor, Dr. Dr. Rosa, you know, about, you know, about his frame, you know, injuries, flexibility. Just try to make sure we do everything scientifically. And they all agree that he can go to any way he wants to go to. So, there's, there's a couple guys like Felipe Pena that he wanted to compete against. Um, he always is looking to challenge himself and he, he wants to go tangle with the big boys. So I called Roddy, Dr. Roger Ferguson, had to put together a plan. He came in, implemented a plan, and now Keenan Cornelius is um, on a program, eating program, sleeping program, to get big program um, to get towards the top of middle heavyweight. Um, so the reason I'm going up to middle heavy is because I competed all last year at middleweight, and the year before that I was at lightweight. And every year I've gained about 20 pounds just because I'm still growing and I'm, I'm only 20 years old and uh, my dad walks around at like 205 so I can only assume that I'm gonna get bigger so I'm pretty skinny right now but I felt really strong at middleweight but I've, I've got a big frame like I, I'm kind of I'm lanky but there's definitely room to stack some muscle on so um, I really want to go up to middle heavy and fight some of the bigger guys and I feel like having a flexible guard at the higher weight classes especially if you can actually put the muscle on and maintain that flexible guard it's going to be really beneficial so I'm looking forward to fighting guys like Philippe Pena mostly he's the guy I'm gunning for right now I really want to go fight Philippe Pena um, and that's my, my prime motivation for gaining the weight so now I'm on uh, Maserati strength and conditioning program I'm on a diet, I'm on all these supplements and I'm pumping iron four days a week so couple, two months or so, you'll probably see me getting quite a bit bigger. Well, right now, Chris, Chris, is, Chris right here, the guy here, he, he didn't do what he's supposed to do <clears throat> in the jungle last year. We let him stay there. You normally probably shouldn't be able to fall out of the jungle. And today, the strength and conditioning over. What happened? What happened to the camera? He slept through my alarm. He slept through his alarm. So from here on, from today on, he's moving back down to the um, basement. He was in the basement, he started in the basement like where everybody starts at, and he progressed his way up, and now he got a room now. He's been in a room and he's, and he's, and he's neglecting the opportunity that has been bestowed upon him, and the next step is going back home to wherever you're from. That's how we roll here. You ready? <laughs> oh god, this sucks. Oh god, this sucks. Oh, this, this sucks. Bad. So what's happening here? Well, I like to see myself as the leader, as the as the leader of the of the basement. You know. Um, today, I'm gonna have some old blood rejoin my force. Chris Albert. No. Let me explain one thing. If you have strength conditioning at 11:30. What time would you show up, Frank? 11.15? Alright. 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. Really? Any minute before 11.30 would be fine. Hey Chris, what time did you show up this morning? I don't know. That's late. 12.15. <laughs> what time? 12.15. <laughs> So you can see why that would work out so well, right? Alright. So now... He's back to the basement! Yep. Oh hey! yeah! Hey! Alright, over it. Um... What do you got to say? Over it, you got to say something to the camera. Yeah, explain yourself. O over it, I have no uh... Over it, look at the camera. Can yeah, you know, have nothing to say? Take it. Okay, you you messed up, pretty man. All right, so you gotta take it and talk to the camera. Oh, I don't think it's ready. Let me get the avocado. Yes, it is. It's not pink inside. Hey, yes, it is. Well, hello there. Welcome. To, what, what do we call this? The suburbs. This is the the suburbs. 
Downstairs is Little Mexico. This is the suburbs. It's where all the uh, it's where all the middle class hangs out. Middle class white boys hang out. It was me, Andres, and Chris Olbrick. Chris Olbrick was right here. He hung out with us for a long time. I'm gonna miss him coming in at two in the morning, rattling the bed while we're slept through his alarm. I was late to class, late to practice. So we gotta move him out of the suburbs and down to Little Mexico in the jungle. It's a sad day. Trouble in paradise, but you know, you know, these things are. So he's gotta pack his stuff and get out. This is how the cookie crumbles, you know. You know. We'll you're... miss him though. He'll, he'll be back soon, or maybe Nick Schultz graduate upwards. So let's get on out of here. Yeah, it'll bring diversity to this room though. If Nick Schultz comes, so that would be nice. Yeah, some diversity. We can we can uh, stop the segregation with classes. So follow us. We're gonna show you where he has to go. So what? Well, this is the suburbs. The room, the right door, right off the the front front here. So coming down here, this is the basement. This is where all the new guys stay. Uh, come to the jungle, to stay. This is JT's room. He, he rules the basement down here. Make yeah. sure everyone's in check. Yeah, I'm the king of the basement. He's got a nice room in here. Yeah. Um, what is this called? Spire Cave. Uh, Spire Cave. Spire Cave. It's part of part of Little Mexico. Part of Mexico. This is Little Mexico down here. Yeah. Um, so you see. Got the, it's right off the laundry room, so it kind of sucks if people are doing laundry at night, washing geese and stuff. You have to deal with that noise, and then it's pretty packed down here. We got uh, James Vick from the Ultimate Fighter staying here right now. Um, so even even UFC fighters, when they come to the jungle, they start off on the mats, and they work their way up. They're going to be here for an extended period of time. And we got uh, Cameron Knight who just moved in, uh, sleeps right here. Um, Nick Schultz just toughs it out, doesn't have a mattress, he just goes right on the mats, which I, uh, I admire that a lot. And you see all their stuff lined up. Over it will probably be somewhere over there. Um, yeah, so that's that. That's what happens when you don't uh, follow, follow the rules 100%. We're here to train, you know? Can't be late. Us. Alright, I, uh, right here, woke up to, uh, Keenan in my face, saying it's 12 o'clock, like, alarms going off, so I just got up, just ran over to school, strength and conditioning was going on, jumped in there wearing my pajamas basically, and uh, Master Lloyd said, get off, you know you're late, uh, so I was late, slept through my alarm, so I'm back down on the mats, when I came to the jungle, I started off on the mats, uh, worked my up way upstairs, I'm back, <clears throat> kind of sucks, but uh, it got to be 100% or it's, <clears throat> it's, it's 100% or it's wrong, so to get back, um, it's just, uh, just got to be 100%, everything correct. Saturday practice. We did cover a lot of uh, wrist locks today. Master Lloyd taught us like all different wrist locks from standing, from close guard, for a good three hours. And then we got in some live wrist lock only sparring. And uh, one of my good friends and teammates, Tim Spriggs, came down from one of the affiliate schools in Baltimore. He was my main training partner um, coming up into uh, the 2012 year when I did my purple belt run. He's a, he's a big dude. He's very athletic, very strong, really good technique. And he really helped my uh, guard game a lot. So it was great to have him down here today. We got some good roles in. My name is Tim Spriggs. I'm from Columbia, Maryland. I train at Crazy 88 Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Uh, I started there when I was 17 years old. Right now I'm 21. I've been training a lot lately. Uh, this past year I graduated from St. John's University and decided to do Jiu Jitsu full time. Before that, I used to go to class and then you know go to the gym and lift weights or just look at a lot of film, study a lot of tape. And this past year, I made a concerted effort to try to you know dial back on doing all the studies and try to train a lot when I was up in New York. And uh, this year, I won the Abu Dhabi Pro Trials, got a trip to Abu Dhabi, I won Pan Ams, and uh, took home two bronzes from the Worlds this year. 
you know, I came up today to get some good rolls in with the metal chasers here at Camp Springs. I don't get to train with them a lot, but we got a lot of tough guys here. We got DJ Jackson, JT Torres, and Keenan Cornelius. Uh, he's one of my very good teammates and friends. Uh, well, he was a purple belt with me last year, and we got to know each other a lot uh, just by training and competing together. And, Today he threw me a curveball with the foot sweep. I mean, he's always evolving his game. Usually he pulls guard right away. He has an incredible, incredible spider guard, but he foot swept me today. But I try to play some guard too, do a little bit of ball, so throw him a curveball too. I mean, he throw it, but, uh, it was good training today, and it's always good to go against the elite at any level, whether it be purple, brown, black, and you know, we're one of the top teams in the world, so whenever you can train with the best, it's a plus. 2012, I'm just hitting it hard. Uh, I feel as though jiu-jitsu has no off-season. It's not like football or basketball. So I'm on the grinder all year round. Um, in the next couple weeks, I'm doing the Miami Open. After that, that next weekend, I'm doing the Abu Dhabi Pro Trials in New York. And after that, I'm doing Nogi Worlds out in California. So I'm always trying to keep it pushing, keep grinding. So, um, in, like the 16 years of my existence, there were guys coming around and want to train, want to compete, and lots of different things. But sometimes I, I can just, I get emails, I get talk to people in person, I can just get a good vibe. <laughs> so today we're came out to eat, talk a little bit of business about the school, about the upcoming projects we're doing, but also. I wanted Sadiq uh, to meet Frank Camacho, meet some people on the team to get a, you know, so they can get to know him, know him because I'm going to give Sadiq an opportunity to move into the jungle. It's the first time ever that a white belt has been allowed to come into the jungle and, and we're going to make him kind of like our special project, you know. Um, he says he wants to be a champion. He's come here. Uh, been in America, you know, he has his own special story behind him and the whole martial arts is about giving people a chance, giving people a chance to better their life, giving people a chance to reach their goals and that's what I'm about and so that's why we're here, you know, I want to just make sure he's 100% clear because everything we talk about is being 100% um, on everything that you do. I want to make sure he's 100% clear what the expectations are, what's expected of him, um, what he's about to go and in, become involved in. And so if he messes it up, he gets he gets booted out of the house, then it'll be 100% his own fault, but he can never say that he never had the opportunity.
gon' see you on a hot damn move. And I ain't leaving nothing. Nick me to the crime, not a print, not a hot damn food. Beat me down is what I came to do, and I ain't playing by a hot damn rule. Shaking you down if you ain't paying your dues. We passing up your block and ooh. My school salute. Gonna call my hand, cause she gon' make me act a hot damn fool. Dead discussion. You will not win, cause I will not lose. Living in the jungle has been awesome. It's like, it's the, it's a perfect way to get to your dream. Like, if you had a dream way to get to your goal, like, that will be it. Like, all I do is just go to sleep, wake up, train, go to sleep and train, eat, train, eat, train. That's all I do. Like, from my first week just moving in the house, people that I train with already seen, like, how much better I get. Not just from the extra practices, but if you practice in the morning, then you practice at night, like, muscle memory just gets a lot better. Like, you already did what you did in the morning. As soon as you go again at nighttime, the muscle memory is there. Like, your catch moves a lot quicker. And then when I get back home, like, the guys are super cool. Like, like I don't think you can meet another Andres, like, anywhere else in the world. Like, there's, like, one like one type of character you'll never find anywhere else. Like, he's real cool. Keenan's real cool. All of them are super friendly and super nice. And... That's basically it. It's, it's a dream right now. I'm really appreciative of it. Being, being around like high level guys like that has definitely changed a lot. There's not a lot of BS like people like stopping in between practices and stuff. And like you will never catch anybody like trying to drag drag you down. Everybody's always trying to keep the intensity level up, up, up. Whenever I'm in the class, whenever I'm in the metal chasers classes, I'm always like trying to make sure I'm not the run of the litter. Like I'm always trying to make sure I'm pushing, 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 pushing. So like. I'm competing with the guys, like, I'm getting caught, but, like, every day, like, I try to increase the number of times bet between me getting caught, like, I try to decrease the amount of submissions I'm getting caught in and try to catch them. I always try to give them a good look, because if I can't hang in there with, like, the higher level guys, I still try to wrestle them, try to take them down, try to stay alive for as long as I can. This year, I'm just hoping to keep getting better and better and better. I, honestly, I want to, like, it sounds crazy, but I want to catch up to DJ. Like, I want to be able to compete with him on an equal level. Like, I, I don't know how long that's going to take, but that's my that's my main focus right now. I want to be able to compete with him on an equal level. Like, I don't want to be, like, like the next DJ, but, like, I, I want to I wanna surpass him. This, this opportunity, like, b before I came here, I actually, like, I was like training at like a real shady place for like four months. They used to talk so much crap about like Master Lloyd and stuff. But like, I I came I came here. I've been here like three months. Like, like he didn't have to give me this opportunity. Like, like anybody else. I know so many people that would have given a lot. I, I've seen the Facebook pages. I've seen like people commenting on the pages. Like people would give a whole lot to get the opportunity that he gave me. Like I've talked to Mike Perez and the other guys. Like Master Lloyd changed lives, man. Like this opportunity he gave me, like. Like he, he really hasn't like he doesn't have to do this. Like he just he just did it and like I'm really appreciative of that and like I'm just I'm just gonna try and make him as proud as I can. And my my name is Sadiq Yusuf and just just wait for me man. Just a couple more months and you 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 I won't need to introduce myself. You all know who I am because I'm putting in the hard work right here and I'm just gonna keep on getting better and better. <laughs>